Well, as you have uh, no doubt surmised, I'm not where I left off. Um, I actually have already recorded episode 15. But for some reason, despite my Elgato Direct HD capture thing recording, when I stopped recording, it just arbitrarily decided to delete all my footage. No backup. Nothing. It was gone. I have the webcam footage of me just talking, but, you know, what good does that do? So I'll give you a, a summary of what happened in episode 15. Uh, I'm also going to name this one episode 16 since... Technically, it is, but... Um, yeah, so in episode 15, I challenged the 4th gym, and I got through the puzzle. Well, it wasn't really a puzzle, it was more of a game, where you're, like, playing pinball with the th spinning thing all the way down, and when I fought... What was her name? B Bia? Bay? B? I don't really know how to pronounce it, but... I basically threw out Sinta Scorch, and she led with a hitmon on top, and I was afraid of counter, so I used Will-O-Wisp. And all it, did, all it did was spam revenge, but I used Coil six times and swept her. And then I ended up here in Glimwood Tangle, where I got an encounter, and it was a really good one. So I will go ahead and show you right now. I caught a Hatrim. I named it Empathy. Um, another thing to note is this Hatrim is modest, which is absolutely amazing. So I have an amazing Pokemon on my team right now, which is awesome. But yeah, um, I don't really know what to say. I was pretty pissed off about it. As you could probably imagine, uh, all I wanted to do was record an episode, edit it, and post it, and get caught up, but whatever, we're here now. So this episode, we're going to go through Glenwood Tangle, and we're going to make our way to Balanlea, ba Balanle, where the fifth gym leader is. She's a fairy-type user, and yeah, I think her ace is level 38, so obviously... No grinding necessary. I'm going to lead with Monster Mash and see what we can do here because I need to get him caught up. But other than that, I'm I'm ready. Let's do it. So see what we can find in here. We've got two full heals. Yeah, I, I was pretty pissed off that my recording just deleted itself. I've never seen anything like that before. No backup either. Oh, Big Root. Need to get me a Grass type. But yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff in here. Like I would not have been an, I would not have been happy with an NDD. I would have been happy with pretty much anything other than an NDD. It's level 36, too, is the thing. Uh, it's just a psychic type, right? I don't think that thing is a fairy type. So, do I want to throw out Reptar? I think it knows psychic. This might be a bad idea. Yeah, I just woke up. It's Sunday morning. Mold Breaker. I got crunch, so... Oh, okay. You're gonna let me go first? Thanks. Once, uh... Once Reptar hits level 37, I got a rare candy with his name on it. And I'm very happy I get to use Hatrim. I've, I've been trying to catch one for, like, three routes. I've had three opportunities to catch one. And I simply have not been able to. Oh, what a kind offer. Get crunch. So we're going to try and record three episodes today. That'll handle uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Oh, damn. 1,500 experience? Holy shit. This is where I need to be grinding. Hold on. I know that there's trainers up there, but I saw some stuff this way, so I kind of want to check that out first. There's no overworld Pokemon out in this route, by the way. It's all, it's all random encounters, so imagine my surprise when I walk in. Cook Derek. He has got a Milsery. I could probably take that with Monster Mash. Alright, Monster Mash, this is your time to shine. Level 33. Um. Yeah, I guess we just Thundershock. <laughs> how, do, how do you get outsped by this weird Pokemon? Ooh, Dazzling Gleam. Man, Fairy type. There's a lot of Fairy types in this game. Like, for real. I think this game has the most fairy types. Honestly. By the way, uh, Hatchrim evolves into a psychic fairy type, so I'm basically going to have a Gardevoir on my team. Except, um, Hat Haterna? Hat I think that's the final form. Haterna has higher special attack than Gardevoir, so. Win, win, win. Shinotic. What the hell is a Shinotic? Shinotic. 
Oh, it's that thing. Yeah, that was that would have been another encounter on this route that I wouldn't have been happy with. It's a grass fairy type, so I kind of want to heal and see what it goes for. I don't want to swap out. We need to make sure that we don't get too overleveled for this fairy gym, but I'm pretty sure like there's nothing I can do about that. There, there's like clusters of gyms in this game, and like the end of the cluster is where. Ooh. Yeah, I'm glad I healed. The end of the cluster is where. Um, is where you're just gonna run right through it because there's like a two level difference, so. Really nothing you can do. So according to my software, I'm recording both webcam and on Elgato. And there's gonna be hell to pay if this one fucks up. Hell to pay. Because I was raging pretty hard. Alright, so Combustion's level 38 now. He's getting a little over level. Maybe... Sinisty. That's just a ghost type, right? I would have been happy with the Sinisty. Like, having the teapot. Because, uh... I, I'm... I like the ghosts that... Like, inhabit inanimate objects. You know, sh uh, Chandelure, aka Luminous, is one of my favorite ghost types now. Especially Shiny Chandelure. For sure. Gorgeist, one of my favorite ghosts. Sam Hain. Carried us all the way through Pokemon Gaia. Single handedly carried by Gorgeist. Just such an absurd defense wall. Maybe I won't use my rare candy. Maybe I'll only use it if I need to, because if I just shoot him up to 38, he's going to get a little over leveled. Are you a static encounter? No, no. I would have been cool with Sinistee. It actually has um, what's its what's its evolution's name? It's um, it's something. <laughs> I don't remember what it is, but uh, it has really high special attack. So I, I was I was like when I got mad, I like looked at the route and I was like, what can, what can I get next time? Because I was gonna have to redo it, right? And I was like, all right, I'm never gonna get as good as a modest Hatchrim again, you know. So what can I get? And it was like, I either get another Dark Fairy type, or I, I get another, um... I get another thing that's not great against fairies, or I get... Wait, Fairy doesn't resist Fairy, does it? I don't know what I'm talking about. I just woke up. Sabbath was being a dickhead and woke everyone up a thousand times last night, so... Well, that was cool. I didn't know you could do that. I can like touch the touch the shrooms and get high out here in Glenwood Tangle. Heal monster mash up. Uh, I don't want to throw combustion out. He's really getting a little too high in exp. I'm gonna throw Let's throw reptar out. Or could, I could throw empathy out, but I feel like everyone in here is just gonna have like fairy types. I'll give it a try. Let's use our uh, let's use our lowest level squad. The railways are amazing. They can carry lots of people and Pokemon at once. Okay. Daring couple, Robert and Jacqueline. Ninetales and Curlia. So Ninetales has a shit ton of special defense, by the way. And we got a psychic fairy type. Uh, obviously I can't stay in with Monster Mash here because of Ninetales. I also can't go into Reptar because of Curlia. I can't go into Danielson. I could go into Kmart maybe. Let's go into Kmart. I think he can do something. And then we are going to Psybeam the Ninetales. If something happens to my hatch room, I'm gonna fucking freak out. Incinerate. Ow! Oh, he crit me. A crit did 28. And now we have disarming voice. Does that hit both? So they both have moves that hit both of us. So what I'm gonna do is... Do I hammer arm? What is hammer arm? It dropped something. Just lower speed. I'm gonna hammer arm this Ninetales. That's definitely gonna kill the living shit out of it. 
And I have no reason to expect that the Curlia is going to go for a different move. Ninetales could, but I doubt it. So where's my shit? Energy Root. We're going to Energy Root Kmart up just in case. And we should be good to go. Hopefully Kmart can outspeed. No, Ninetales is quick, but I could probably outspeed the Curlia. Quick attack. It's not what I expected. Yeah, Ninetales is gone. Boom. Dropping the fucking hammer. So, Combustion is now once again about to get cycled out. If I run into an encounter in Bao and Leah, then he's out of here, which might be a good thing. Yeah, Disarming Voice. We're good, man. Super effective on Kmart. So now I'm going to use Strength on the Curlia, which is 100% going to kill it, and we're going to heal Empathy. Yeah, I named it Empathy because its Pokédex um, entry was like, this Pokemon reacts to emotions and stuff. I was like, oh, okay. That's a pretty good name for it. I wanted to name it something based on its hat, which is kind of like its defining feature, but I couldn't think of anything. Bitch. Man. Kmart is out here getting himself off my top 10, top 10 most uh, hated Pokemon list. He is definitely doing that. I have so many fighting types, and I'm about to go against a fairy gym. This is not good. Although, fun fact, I did look up uh, Empathy's learn set, and he does get calm. She does get calm mind by level up, which is awesome. So I can set up with calm mind too. I just don't remember when she gets it. I think there's a trainer down here, right? Oh, wait. Oh, I could have just skipped that whole section. Here's the trainer. Fight me. Fight my my uh, Monster Mash Arctozolt. Fighting Judge Duty over here. Indeedy. What a stupid looking Pokemon. I just... I, I don't think it's that stupid looking. I just hate its name. And I really have no reason to do so. Yeah, let's try and paralyze this Biatch. Play nice. Doesn't that lower something of mine? Attack? That's oh, fine. Yeah, we can play as nice as you want. Disarming voice. That's going to do like 25 damage to me. It did 14. <laughs> the predictions are off today. This is a 5-hit KO with Thundershock. I wish with all my heart I had a stronger electric move. I might have to... Ow! I might have to look up some uh, TM lists. Where can I get some TMs? Also, when can I surf? Can I surf now? Because between you and me, I will drop combustion for a Gastrodon in a heartbeat. I really need a water type, and I really need a ground type. It's getting it's getting critical at this point. I don't necessarily need fire right now. You know what I mean? Like, because I, I have pluck on Monster Mash, so I have coverage for grass and bug, and, you know, I have I have two fighting types for ice. I don't really need a fire type. As cool as he is. No one's saying he's not cool. Man, this is just like a shit show. Okay. As long as it doesn't crit me. I thought that it crit me. <laughs> Die, indeedy. It just looks like a... Like a pretentious... Pokemon. I guess it's good that I'm overleveled, considering my team is... Okay. I'll stay in to get all the EXP, but I gotta swap out. But yeah, it's like... I guess it's good that my Pokemon are kind of overleveled, because they're all pretty much weak to fairy types. Like, Arctozolt and Empathy, or Monster Mash and Empathy, are like my two best options. As well as Combustion, but I have a feeling I'm gonna have to get rid of him soon. Ugh, oh, rip my last episode. One crunch ought to take care of you. I might I might save my uh my rare candy for Arctozolt. That he is just so hard to train, his moves are so bad. It takes forever. Alright, two indeedies down. Do you have a third one? 
Kmart and Monster Mash leveling up. And Daniel's on. Madam Judy. So these people just catch Pokemon they find in the area and they just stay here. They stay here for all eternity and they just fight everybody. I feel like if Pokemon were real, that would be very frowned upon. Can you imagine the regulations that would go along with these things? They would be like weaponized. I'm not exactly sure what I would do if I was in the army or something and someone drops a Mega Tyranitar on me. I'd be like, oh, okay, well, I guess I'm fucked. The thing's gonna eat me alive. How do I get over there to the left? Wait, hold on. There's like a whole section I missed. Oh, shit. I remember this place. Yeah, we gotta deliver a letter. The, uh, not the Eon letter. That was something else. What was it called? Uh, that one girl gave it to me in Hammerlock, I think. Hold on. We gotta go back in the Glenwood Tangle. I need to figure out what's going on. How did I miss an entire area? I'm like holding left to see if I can find a hidden area. How do you get up there? I must have gone the wrong way. I can't seem to go this way. So let's backtrack then. Oh shit! They do run around outside. That was one of those little impy dimp things. Alright, so we have to backtrack all the way. Gotcha. No, I don't want to fight. Leave me alone. Alright, so how do we get up here? Do I go this way? No, it's Derek. Is there another entrance to this Glimwood Tangle? I don't, I'm not really seeing what I'm supposed to do here. And then that's the way out, right? Oh, we found it. Okay, we had to go all the way around. Alright. Nope, that just goes up to here. Let me make sure I can't go this way. So it's not this way. I guess there is another entrance. I don't really know. Alright, well. That's easy enough, I guess. Got through Glimwood Tangle. I kind of wanted one of those uh, fairy ponyta things, but... I guess you can't catch that in Pokemon Sword, so... That's unfortunate. Damn, how the hell do I get over there? I want that TM so badly. Alright, well, back to Bal Balan Leah. Let's heal up and then let's deliver this letter. I guess we uh, have enough time to go through this whole place and uh, next time we just take the gym on. Might have to do a little bit of grinding. I kind of want to get Arctazolt and hack trim up, up, to, uh, up to snuff. You get a pretty good amount of EXP, though, in the Glimwood Tangle. I need to figure out how to get EXP candies, so I can just use those instead. Alright, so I can buy more items. I can buy Hyper Potions now. That is great. I'm going to buy 20 of these. I have plenty of Great Balls. And I bought some more Poke Dolls too, because... I, I don't know. I, sometimes you just can't run, because, like, I tend to take the Pokemon out of my team. Oh, hold up. I need to talk to these people. I take them out of my team when I'm done grinding them so they don't get overleveled. And then usually it's the weakest Pokemon that's remaining and it's hard to run from stuff. Damn it. Is it you? No, it's not you. Okay. For the third time, we're going to leave the Pokemon Center. You look like you're looking for a letter. Frank? Yeah, his name is Frank, wasn't it? Oh, shit. Scorbunny and Sizzlepeed are different species, but they're both, still both Pokemon. Scorbunny and I are different species, just like Sizzlepeed and I are different, too. If you think about it that way, there's no problem with calling me a Pokemon. What? You don't even... You don't have to worry about me. Even I know it's pretty lofty logic. Uh, okay. Well, you can be a Pokemon, bro. Basically, if I can make myself feel the way a Pokemon does, it'd be like I became a Pokemon. Uh, would you please put some clothes with fiery spirit that embodies my burning feelings? So do I need to put my uniform on, like the fire type uniform? Burning feelings? Are you Frank? Yes, I have a letter for you. I didn't expect it to be an old man. Uh, okay, Paul was the name of a girl I spent all my time playing with when I... Wait. We ended up having a great row about it, and then I moved away not long after the fight. 
I thought that it was a little girl that gave me the letter. So what are you going to give me? A choice? He gave me a choice scarf? Oh my god. So, Alright, we got it. We're, we're, we're scarfed now. So if, if for those that are not in the know, the choice scarf, it permanently boosts your speed. It's a hold item. But whatever move you use, you are locked into it. So basically, you're going to go first, but you can't use any other moves. So, for instance, you know, putting it on someone like Reptar is bad because I have Dragon Dance, which means if I use Dragon Dance, that's all I can use, right? But if I put it on someone like Kmart, I'm going first with Hammer Arm. As a matter of fact, <laughs> I'm going to give you an item. Man, it's just so much easier to do it from the bag. Okay. First of all, let me get rid of these notifications here. And then we can sort. So do I have any TMs that I can like really give anyone right now? Retaliate, user gets revenge for a fainted ally. Rock Blast. Oh, I can teach Monster Mash Rock Blast. I don't have a rock type. I don't have rock coverage right now. Revenge. Swift, Will Wisp, already got that. Beat up, Whirlpool, Steel Wing. Charm, Snore, Dig. Uh, I can teach Empathy Magical Leaf. I kind of need a grass move, so I'm okay with that. That heals all stats conditions. Heal Pulse. We'll get Heal Pulse is so fucking worthless. I guess it's for double battles, right? It's the only explanation. Pen Missile, Payday. All right. So, all right. Choice Scarf. Let's give the Choice Scarf to somebody. This is awesome. Yes. And then... Let's see. There's got to be something I can give... To Empathy. Maybe I can give it a Shell Bell. Focus Sash. Wave Incense. Heavy Duty. Oh, Odd Incense. There we go. Boost Psychic Moves. So it's Modest and Psychic Boosted now. Grass Type Moves. Shed Shell. Okay. I could give it the wise glasses. That that would probably be wise. Honestly. We gotta... Oh, shit. I missed an item. We gotta distribute the hold items so they make sense. Oh, you're gonna give me TM? TM77 Hex? So I can get some ghost-type coverage, too. Let's take a look at that. Basically, it does more damage to those with status conditions, so I could use Will-O-Wisp, and then I can go into a Hex somehow, maybe. Nope, I cannot do shit, because no one can learn it. But, it's there. Uh, evolution is a bit tricky. If Pokemon evolves, it got stronger, but its appearance will change. Do you want to know how to make a Pokemon str Yes. Are you going to give me an Eviolite? I think she's about to give me an Eviolite. Please. Or a Macho Brace or something. Let's see. Sends out Dotler. Man, if that thing has an Eviolite, it's actually going to be pretty tough to kill. So it's Bug Psychic. I'm not scared of it. Uh, I'm just going to Ancient Power. Maybe I'll get the stat boost. Bitch! No stat boost. Oh, he's going for a light screen. Come on. Are you just going to give me a screen move? Oh, I should have used Pluck. I'll use it next time. Unless it uses Reflect, which it probably will, right? Bug Buzz. That ain't going to hurt. Whoa, that did a lot. Why did that do so much? I'm going to pluck you. Boom. Gosh, so weak. My minus attack nature is coming into play here. And it does not look like I'm going to be getting a um, water encounter here. Monster Mash is so weak, man. His stats are good, but he's so weak because his moves are trash. You gotta learn something better. I looked up his moveset, and let me tell you something. Outlook is bleak on that one. He doesn't learn many good moves at all. I think he learns Discharge at some point, like in the 40s. And I am i don't know if I'm going to have him by then. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, we're doing some research on um, EXP candies. I understand why they're in the game now. <laughs> Alright, Dotler down. You gonna give me that Eviolite? That's all I want. Empathy, level 35. 
what do you got? I didn't expect you to be able to breach Dotler's solidity. Even though it was hard to take down. Yes! Give it to me. Okay. Eviolite is like the best item ever. So what it does, it raises your defense and special defense, right? So, but only for Pokemon that aren't fully evolved. So if I give it to a Pokemon that's not fully evolved and his special defense and defense are 50, while holding the Eviolite, they go up to 75. It boosts it by 1.5 times. So, I'm going to give you the Eviolite. Now, uh, my now my Axew is going to be pretty hard to beat. So, if we look at his summary, his defense now is effectively 54 plus 54 over 2, which is 54 plus 27. What is that, 81? And then his special defense is 63. So, he's, in other words, he's a lot more tanky, which is great. And when he when he's a fracture, he's gonna be even better. Man, I want I want I want Chincho. I want Anode to come back to my team. Jim's that way. Ooh, TM. TM twenty one rest. So now I have rest and snore. I guess that's something. Ah shit, I missed the item. And I missed that other item out here too, I think. Let me go back for that. Did I pick this up? Two big mushrooms. I have kind of a lot of mushrooms. I'm about to be dealing mushrooms and shit. Bomb mushroom. A rare mushroom that gives off a nice fragrance. It could be sold at a high price. Okay. Let me heal up real quick, and then we'll explore around the gym. I'm sure I have to fight Hop. I haven't fought him in a couple cities, so... I think it's getting time. I'm about to whoop his ass, too. Wait, no, I did fight him recently. Never mind. I did fight him somewhat recently. I swear to God, if, if this episode doesn't record, I am going to lose my shit. Let's see what's going on up here. Hop or Leon are going to be up here, right? This is really the end of the city. Okay. Um, well then, I guess this is a good place to end the episode. Next time, uh, we're going to take on the fifth gym. Hopefully, everything saves and works properly. Uh, let's take a look at the team. I'm probably going to get Monster Mash and Empathy leveled up. I'm probably going to level Empathy up once or twice. And I'm going to get Monster Mash up to like 36, 37. And I think we're just going to go for it. Because we're, we're like borderline overleveled for this. So yeah, stay tuned. <laughs>